Just like Gen Z cannot live without their phones because they need some device to remind them to breathe, I need my machine tools when I'm working in Blender. I don't care what I'm doing, I need machine tools. If machine tools doesn't work in a specific version of Blender, guess what? I'm not touching it, okay? That's how important that add-on is. So in this video, I wanna show you how to start with machine tools and which tools you should be using immediately. It's really simple and I'll show you everything you need to know. Let's get started. So drag and drop machine tools into your blender install it good to go and now a lot of people are confused uh, you know they install machine tools and they load it up and they say well hang on a second why is it not working right it's not working because by default machine tools has a lot of tools disabled like you see here all these menus are disabled by default and don't ask me why ask machine i'm not the creator that's not you know wouldn't be my decision but there you go so what you need to do in order to use the same tools I'm using, and I'm using, you know, probably the most logical tools for daily workflow is Smart Vert, Smart Edge, Smart Face Cleanup, Edge Constraint, if you're using Deus X, which you should, Turn Off This Nonsense, Focus, really important, Align, fantastic tool, Group, if you really need it, I wouldn't worry about this, and honestly, you're fine. Surface slide is pretty cool and thread. In fact, if you want to go really deep on this add-on, I have two massive videos on YouTube. Go ahead and watch them. They're both on tools and pies. Now, in terms of pies, because don't confuse tools and pies. There are tools and pies, okay? Now, in terms of pies, we're going to have mode pies, save pies, shading, views, uh, alignment. Actually, shading, you don't need it. Alignment and cursor, these, okay? These pies, I would recommend having turned on. And that's what I use basically 99% of the time, okay? Now, in terms of assigning shortcut keys, like custom shortcut keys to these add-ons, don't do that. That's not my recommendation. I use default ones for hard ops, box cutter, mesh machine, machine tools, decal machine, key tops, cable rator, our add-on. It doesn't matter. They, they design in a way not to conflict with one another, okay? So you can use them as, you know, at default settings, it's going to be fine. Don't mess with settings too much in Blender because if you're going to be using multiple versions of Blender, you're going to have to set it up the same way in each of them. It's a headache. Trust me, don't do it. Set this up, save preferences, you're good to go. Now we're going to talk about these one by one, okay? So let's start from the top. We're going to talk about... Here, this one, this one, SmartVert, yeah? So SmartVert is going to be first. Now, SmartVert is really simple, okay? So what you want to do is you want to um, add a cube here and um, add some, you know, some loops. And now watch. If I want to collapse a certain geometry, so I want to collapse certain, you know, vert to vert, all I want to do is I want to select, you know, verts. And the last one I'm going to select, press 1, they're going to collapse to it. So they're going to collapse to the last vert selected. So it's going to be kind of like a merge at last, which is a blender behavior, but this one is much faster. Now, another one is going to be shift one, which is going to collapse them in the middle. So if you select the whole row here, which is five of them, they're going to collapse here. See what I mean? That's a fantastic tool that will allow you to very quickly collapse stuff and move things when you clean topology. It's an extremely powerful tool especially when you're cleaning booleans, I couldn't live without it. That's it. I'm literally refused to turn on Blender if this add-on isn't working. And that's just tool number one. And we have quite a few to go through. So watch this. Next one's going to be, uh, and by the way, there's many other uses that I'm showing you here on the screen. Again, go ahead and watch my other two massive videos on this add-on. This is just the introduction, okay? The other two videos are one hour each. So yeah, it's a lot to talk about, all right? Cool. Now, next one is going to be a smart edge now smart edge is really interesting what it's going to allow you for example is going to allow you to for instance right flip an edge like this with a key number two but also what's going to allow you to do is going to allow you to run operations like bridge so for example if i wanted to remove this right and i wanted to bridge these uh, two loops together instead of you know having to go to edit preferences extensions enabling loop tools and right clicking and you know, choosing bridge, I can just press two and be done with it. Do you see what I mean? It's quicker. So this tool is going to allow you to work on geometry level much quicker in edit mode. And they are devastatingly quick in terms of, for example, cleanups and, you know, fixing stuff. It's amazing what you can do with them. All right, next one is going to be the smart face. So smart face is interesting. It's kind of like a grid fill. So let's say I have these faces missing here and I wanted to 
reconstruct them. I can just select one corner, right, and just press four, and it's going to rebuild it with, you know, the same curvature. So it's a really interesting tool, and it's going to also kind of, you know, follow the, um, the the flow of topology. Not as well as grid fill, but you know, it's it's good enough. Now this is fantastic for rebuilding faces very quickly. And again, there are other ways of using this tool. Uh, so, you know, like I said, the two long videos on this, they explain everything in detail. This one is just to, you know, give you kind of like a starting point with this add-on, okay? Next one is clean up. This one is just genius. I mean, let's say you got a plane and you got some nonsense here, right? Floating on your geometry. You know, let's just split this and maybe grab some of these and move them somewhere here and do something like this, whatever. It's a disaster, right? So cleaning this, you could do this, you know, by selecting them, pressing one with machine tools, etc. But the quicker way to do this is simply pressing three, which is a cleanup. It should clean up all the non-manifold geometry, including faces. So for example, right, if I'm going to split this in half here and grab all these here, right? and move them up and close them with a face and pop a face in here. If I wanted to clean this up, right, um, with machine tools, all I can do is press three and now go here and enable face cleanup as well. And it's going to allow you to clean everything, including edges, faces, and verts. So again, you got quite a powerful menu here that you can play with. Um, that's going to kind of fine tune how this tool behaves, but you access it with a key number three, that's all you have to do, right? Very powerful. Next one's gonna be edge constraint, and this one is from Machine Tools Deus X. It's gonna allow you to, you know, move faces in this way, so shear them, but also it's gonna allow you to kind of uh, straighten whole edges and loops, especially when you have something like this, right? So let's say you have this, you know, have this edge, you want it to move it. So, you know, Alt R you can rotate it, but you also can flatten it. You know, by default, if you go as Z zero, it's not gonna work for you because you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna have this uh, side of the cylinder being flattened. You don't want this to happen. What you want is you wanna, you know, drop this edge down by sliding it on these, you know, guide edges here, right? So you wanna select this, go Alt R, then Shift and just tap Z and click. And it's going to you see perfectly align this on a z-axis without changing the shape of this cone. This tool is extremely powerful, especially that you can you know do it with multiple edges. Okay, it's it's an amazing tool. Next one's gonna be focus and align. Okay, so focus is a brilliant tool. Let's say you got a you know a cube here and it's rotated and moved here in space. You got a cylinder here and you wanna align the cylinder to this cube, and we're talking about location and rotation. So select the cylinder, shift, select the cube, Alt A, and there you go, Bob Janko is here inside, aligned, you know, location and rotation wise, a very powerful tool, all right? Focus is also interesting, it's a, it's a kind of like a local view on steroids. You know that you have a local view in Blender by pressing, you know, forward slash on the keyboard, you can enter local view, which kind of isolates your view in Blender. But what you can do with machine tools is you can kind of access like a multi-level local view. So if I select these three uh, cubes here and go Control F, you see I'm gonna have this kind of a frame here around. I'm gonna have this menu with optional tools here. And if I'm gonna be in the multiple setting, I can actually keep going deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole. So you can isolate whole sections with booleans and it's a very powerful, and then you can click off of this object and Control F, Control F, Control F to go back in time. So kind of like move backwards from these kind of like deeper rooms, you know what I mean? Deeper local views. This is extremely powerful for, for working with booleans mirrors as well because you can unmirror something so if something is mirrored across you can unmirror it extremely powerful stuff okay next one's gonna be pies now pies are amazing the first one is mode spy and this one is the best pie menu that has been ever created period that's it like that that's it, it there's no argument there okay this pie menu transforms vanilla blender experience into something that's actually bearable because vanilla blender you know edit object one two three four uh, vert edge and face is unbearable i mean it actually makes me want to crawl into an oven open the gas valve and play with matches i'm not kidding is that painful so in vanilla blender you have to press tab to toggle between object and edit mode in here all you do is press tab and swoosh 
you just simply choose either vert face or edge and you can do it literally with one movement so I don't have to press tab and one all I do is just simply gesture and I enter you know the mode I want to work in this is I'm serious like this pie menu is gonna save you so much goddamn time in the long run it's actually insane think about it every time you go to edit mode you don't have to use this nonsense in vanilla blender you just gesture with your mouse done now all you need to do is learn you know where these um verts edges and and the and the face you know pie menu is located and eventually it's going to be a muscle memory okay save spy extremely useful as well if you press ctrl s you're going to be able to access the save pi menu which is fantastic this one's going to allow you to load recent file, look at all recent files. I think it's up to 10. And you can also import stuff, including plasticity files. And you can also append stuff, but also purge. So you don't have to go here, you know, to uh, to the purge menu, right? You can just do it from uh, the Pi menu. Very useful. And you also have some, you know, menus here in the bottom, which is really awesome. So that is absolutely fantastic. Next one's going to be View Spy and Alignment Pi. Now, View Spy is brilliant when you're going to render something. So if I have a cube here and I wanted to add a camera in a scene, I would need to go here and add a camera, then, you know, move it, adjust it, right? Very annoying. I don't want to deal with this nonsense. I want to adjust my view the way I want to shoot. I want to I wanna press page down, add a camera, and I'm done. Then page down, lock to view. I can adjust it, right? I can then, you know, add the or change the focal length. So let's say 85 to make it a bit of a longer lens, you know, adjust it here, page down, unlock from view, I'm done. If I want a second camera, no problem. Click, page down, alt click, second camera. Do you see what I mean? Way quicker, less headache. So there you go. And next by menu, let me see this. I think I turned it off. Next by menu is going to be align pie and cursor and origin pie, right? These two on the bottom. This is so good. Okay, so good. Like all the all these tools are amazing, but you know, I don't know which one is the best, my favorite. They're also good. So this one's gonna allow you to align elements like faces, verts, etc. to one another. So let's say that I have this vert somewhere here in space. I wanted to bring it back to you know to sanity and uh, align it so I have a cube again. So like this one, so like this one, and this one is a view based. So you need to align yourself to the view, alt A and you know you can align it to different elements so in this case we would align it to the bottom and then we would select this one align it to the right and this one we would align to the right as well and you back to the cube okay so you see that's how quickly you can align stuff and this goes deeper okay so if i have a you know a loop here and my face and i have this face chamfered but i change my mind right and i want to you know let's say straighten up this chamfer all i need to do is you know alt a and align it to um to the to the right side and there you go and if i wanted to align it down i can do the same you know i can do the same thing i can align it here and then for example move this edge here right so you see like, how powerful this is going to be when you model and you can align edges as well so you could grab this edge and this edge and align them like this you know what i mean so it's really quick and when you're modeling something when you when you're blocking out or even when you kind of fixing topology it doesn't matter what you do this is so useful it's just insane okay it's just insane so yeah uh use this tool and the last one is gonna be shift s which is the combination of blender uh you know the cursor pie and also uh, the origin menu which is actually hidden here under object you have to go here set origin okay so these two are kind of combined together but in a very powerful way in addition it's going to allow you to align your cursor to your geometry so if I'm going to, for example, you know, create a, a chamfer here and I want to align my cursor, which at the moment is aligned to the world view, right? So world view, let me just pop the Z axis so you can see. That's my alignment. Watch what happens when I'm going to add it to, I mean, move it to my face, right? So if I'm going to um, select the face here, shift us to face, boom, my cursor is going to get aligned. You see what I mean? So that's really important when I, for example, want to align mesh to my cursor. So add a cube, right? Shift S to cursor, boom. See what I mean? You see how quickly you can work with these tools. So if you're gonna combine this with hard ups and box cutter, you're gonna be working, you know, eight times faster. In fact, machine tools is such an important add-on 
right? That uh, we use it in our vanilla course, which is um, the hard surface accelerator. So all the tools we use there are vanilla and blender based, but machine tools is the only external add-on we use for this course because it's simply so good. You need to learn it and you need to, you know, take advantage of it because it's just amazing. And we do teach you how all these tools work in Vanilla Blender because you have to know this. We don't want you to rely on slow tools. We want to start teaching you from the very first course how to work effectively and efficiently because that's how you should work. Time is not free. Time is extremely expensive. And, you know, this will introduce you slowly through the hard surface accelerator course to this kind of like a really efficient hard surface workflow. And then you can follow up with other courses that we offer, like for example, the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter. And with these two courses, you're gonna be dangerous, right? And you can learn all these tools within, you know, like two, three weeks tops, or maybe four, and um, you could have a very good grasp on add-on workflow for hard surface modeling, the hard surface accelerator. You can learn Blender basics and all the tools and menus and workflow literally in two weeks. Uh, because that's how the curriculum is designed. Anyway, the link to both courses is in the video description and in the comment pinned under the video. But there you go. These are the tools. And like I said, you should be using all of them uh, because they're extremely powerful. And um, just going back very quickly to this Pi menu, in addition to moving cursor, obviously you can also move the origin point, which is really powerful because you want these two tools you know they work in tandem you cannot just use only you know cursor you're usually gonna be using cursor and origin point and it just makes sense to put them in one menu so for example if i'm going to you know let's just you know curve this so now if i want to move my origin point to an edge or to a face so let's just grab a face and shift us into face right my origin point is going to move here and now if i'm going to go to object mode and i want to move my cursor to my object so the origin point shift s and move to select it which is going to move it to the origin point and if you don't want this cursor to align to the face because now origin point inherited the rotation of this face you just have to hold alt so shift s you know hold alt and to select it and now your origin point is rotated but your cursor isn't you see how powerful this is so when you under you know when you go deeper into modeling you'll understand and appreciate how powerful this combo is and how much time and headache this is going to save you especially when you're going to have all these tools you know kind of like on the muscle memory level okay so anyway, that's it for this video i hope it's going to help you out and again if you're interested in learning a hard surface workflow for blender as efficiently as possible grab our course the hard surface accelerator close to 5,000 students 700 testimonials go ahead on our page and check them out you can also hop on our discord with 8,000 people and ask around what they think about our content it's a free forum so you can just ask whatever you want and again like i said all the links to our courses are in the video description and also in the comment pinned under the video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one